on everybody, it is Aaron Cates and welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you guys here again. Glad to be doing another step, getting closer to wrapping the truck. Today we're going to be bedlining the truck. As you guys saw, I got a Harbor Freight bag, got a drill, got my, my Starbucks, got my white girl on. Now, first, you know, you gotta wash the bed and everything, but I'm gonna go through what's in this bag that we're gonna be using to help us bedline this truck. Okay, so in this bag, went to Harbor Freight, and I got some six piece wire wheels, and that's when this drill comes in handy. You just put them on the drill, and instead of going around and having to sand the whole truck with sandpaper and then you can use these wire wheels to stuff up the paint enough that that bed liner is going to stick good and well because you don't want it smooth and clear coat like this because it's not going to stick just like any normal paint if you just paint on a smooth surface that isn't textured whatsoever the paints are going to have a hard time sticking bed liner is the same concept you want to rough it up now you guys saw the plastic bed liner that was in here it roughed up a lot of this already but this tailgate hasn't been roughed up and there's some sections like the wheel wells and things where the bed liner wasn't necessarily touching that didn't get roughed up too well so that's when these come in handy the only other thing i have in here is some safety glass if you're spinning these wire wheels at a high rpm and one of these wires come off or chunk of paint or anything and it slings in your eye you don't have a very rough day so before we go wire wheeling or anything i need to wash the bed of the truck i actually won't be wire wheeling the truck until probably tomorrow because i need to wash out this bed get it all nice and clean that way i can see what needs to be wire wheeled what doesn't and then tomorrow once it's all dry, I'm going to let it dry overnight. We'll wire wheel and everything. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to wash it and if it'll dry before it gets dark out. Because, I mean, it's like 3.30 right now. If it dries before it gets dark out, I can start wire wheeling. But I don't want to wire wheel in the dark. Because this is Florida. <sighs> I don't want to wire, wire wheel in the dark because this is Florida. And there's mosquitoes in these woods. And I don't want to get bit by mosquitoes. Okay, the bed is completely washed out. Uh, if you guys saw, I took a leaf blower and blew all the big dirt and rocks out. Uh, after I sweeped, I swept, but I could get it out, what wouldn't come out, I took the blower and blew out. And if you're wondering what I used to wash it, I didn't wait, bother using like car wash soap or anything like that. I just took some Dawn dish soap and put it in my foam gun, just sprayed it down, then took a car wash brush and brushed it all out. I climbed in there. Got in all the creases. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, guys. You're not gonna come through and fully 100% detail the bed of a truck. It's not it's not gonna happen. This truck's 16 years old. Like, the bed's not, not gonna be perfectly clean. And now I just have to wait for all this water to dry, and then I can come in with the wire wheel and wire wheel the whole thing, and then I'm gonna wash it again, and then let it dry again before I roll in the bed liner. I would like, it's about four o'clock right now. I have about an hour and a half till dark. I would like to be able to come out here right before dark and wire wheel the whole thing. That way tomorrow, or that way I can wash it out and let it sit overnight and tomorrow it'll be nice and dry. If I can't do that today, I'm gonna have to wire wheel first thing in the morning and then wash it and wait till about uh, 12, one o'clock for it to be completely dry and then come in and bed line it. But, I'll pick you guys back up once the bed is dry and I can start prepping it and wire wheeling it. Whether that be tonight or tomorrow, it won't be long for you guys, it'll be a while for me. Okay guys, before it gets any darker, out. I wanna get started on the tailgate. The tailgate is dry. The bed itself still has a lot of water in it, so I'm not gonna be able to start on it tonight, or at least not record too much of it. But I definitely wanna get started on this tailgate. It is dry, so let's get right into it.
All right, everybody. Just like that, the tailgate is completely wire wheeled. Now all I have to do is rinse off all this old clear coat that came off it that is all over my hands and everything. I highly suggest if you're going to do this at home, wear a respirator. Uh, glasses help a lot, but I could smell the clear coat as I was doing it. And you definitely don't want to be breathing that in. I should have went inside and put my respirator on, but I was already fully committed. There was no going back then. So it is completely wire wheeled. As you can see, the bed still has uh, some water in it. So that will not be able to be wire wheeled until tomorrow when it's dry, but I can go ahead and hose off all this clear coat that's on this tailgate and see what spots I need to hit with uh, some sandpaper. Cause I know like near uh, the tailgate things, whatever these are called, latches, you know, the tailgate latches, I didn't want to get too close and stuff them up. Besides that, it's completely wire wheeled. That went really fast. I mean, it took me like 15 minutes to do the entire tailgate. So it'll probably take me, I don't know, an hour to do the whole bed. And I was expecting a lot worse. If you had to do that with sandpaper, oh wow, that would take you like three, four hours. So if you have a drill, I highly suggest it. And just like that, guys, this is what I'm trying to achieve. Not only on just the tailgate, but the whole entire bed, the whole bottom of the bed, the wheel wells, the sides, this part right here, I will not be bedlining any of this just because I don't want to have to interfere with how the tailgate itself closes. I don't want to put any thickness and it not shut properly. But the sides right here, all the way down, I will not be bedlining the top or the inside side of the railing. I will not be doing that. But I will be doing the top up here all the way across. I'm going to tape off these sides. You'll see that tomorrow. Will not be touching there. But the wheel wells, the bottom and the back will all be wire wheeled just like this and then rinsed and let dry. Uh, I try to let it air dry as much as possible. So little creases and stuff like in here and areas like that, they don't hold the water as much and go bedlining it and have some water or something and mess up the whole bedlining process. So. I'm gonna try and get a lot of this done tonight. If I don't film it, I'm sorry. It's almost dark outside as it is now, and I don't wanna try to film it in the, in the dark, as you guys won't be able to see much. I wanna do this the right way. I don't wanna have to do this again, so I wanna wire wheel as much as possible. Uh, like in painting, prep is everything. If you don't prep right, your paint's not gonna turn out right. So spend most of your time prepping, getting everything ready, and you'll be happier with the end result of the paint or bed liner or whatever it is you're doing. Put more time into it. Take the time to wire wheel everything. Sand the spots you can't get. And I promise you, it's it's gonna work out in the end. So I'm gonna jump into it, guys, and I'll pick you guys up in the morning. What's going on, everybody? Aaron Cates, and we're back today doing the bed liner. Now, I didn't get very much done last night when I uh, put down the camera and I stopped talking to you guys. It got dark very fast, and as soon as the sun starts to go down here in Florida, mosquitoes come out right away. I'm sure it's that way in some other states, but it's really bad here in Florida, and I live close to a lake, and it's even worse when you're close to water. So I didn't get very much done last night, but came out today, I instantly taped off the whole truck. Instead of rinsing it out uh, when I'm done sanding, I'm actually gonna take the blower, and I'm gonna blow all the big dust out, and then I'm gonna take a, an old shop rag or an old microfiber with some denatured alcohol, and we'll wipe the whole bed down. That way, any little bit of dirt or anything is gonna come off with that rag. It's also gonna get any grease or anything like that out. But I'm I'm about a quarter of the way done through the bed with sanding. I've got this whole side done, so let me show it to you. Okay, so as you guys remember, I did the tailgate last night. I came in today. Well, last night I started on this section and I didn't get very much of it done. But I have the whole bottom done down there the wheel well the whole side of the bed and the starting the back side of the bed right there the center is super easy to do because you just run down a straight shot and just go over it the walls is what's hard because it grabs the drill and it wants the drill to go a certain way and it wants to fight against you so once i get the walls done should be done super fast i'm trying to work around like do the floor where i'm at and the wall and go all the way around and then come in and take it out down the center and then i'm gonna completely blow it out then take some denatured alcohol and wipe the whole thing down i'm gonna hand sand this rail up here because i don't want to risk the drill 
getting loose or anything and coming through and scratching my back window or my bed rails. So I'm gonna do that by hand. Uh, as you guys can see, I taped off everything. It's taped off all the way around. The window's taped off, bed rails taped off. Now I am doing this by hand. If I was going to be spraying this, this whole truck would be covered in drop cloth because it gets in the air and it can go anywhere. But since I am hand rolling this, I'm just going anywhere where the roller might come loose and hit something. But like I said, I'm not doing the sides of the rails. When I wrap the truck, I want the wrap to be able to come around and wrap underneath here. That way you can't see any lines. So that's why I'm not doing that. But I am going to do this rail right here because I imagine if I ever have anything in my bed with this bed liner, that would get dinged up very easily. And if there was wrap there, it would get torn. So it's easier to just bedline that and not worry about it. But I'll pick you guys up and update you once I get everything sanded down and we'll go into blowing it out. It's like that everybody. All the sanding and the bed is done. I just have to do that rail and any little areas close to tape that I didn't want to get too close to and risk tearing the tape. I'll just go over there, lightly stuff all of that. And then I'm gonna sweep out the bed and blow it out and then wipe it down with denatured alcohol. But I'll show you all the steps that I'm gonna go through jump in to sanding these. I'm sorry I'm not boring y'all with any time lapses or anything. I don't want this video to be a whole lot of time lapse. There's a lot of steps that go into this. And if I do a time lapse for every single thing I do, this is gonna be like a 30 minute video. And I know you guys don't wanna sit there and watch a whole 30 minute video, so I apologize. But I'm just letting you guys know as I'm doing along, but I don't wanna do time lapses and bore you guys out. So I'm trying to get this done as fast as possible for you. I think the bed is completely blown out. All dirt and debris are blown out of the bed. And now, just to be safe, I'm gonna take an old microfiber shop rag, some denatured alcohol. You can get this at any like local parts store like Advance, AutoZone, uh, I believe Walmart carries it, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, any type of hardware store or part store should carry denatured alcohol. And then just get an old rag, old t-shirt, something that you can use to wipe down everything and wipe down every single area. Anywhere, any crease, anything in here anywhere where you're going to be putting bed liner you need to wipe it down because if there's any dust or any debris or anything on the bed itself the bed liner is not going to stick as well as it could and it could not stick at all or eventually just completely come off and you'll be left with a patchy bed liner that you spent all this out all these hours in prep work and all your money on and it to turn out like crap so take your time guys don't rush this prep work is everything all right, everybody, as you can tell, this rag is completely covered and the dust that came off, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but the bed's shiny again. That is what's left of any paint that's underneath. As you can tell, everything's all scratched up though. You don't have to go down to bare metal, just get it stuffed up enough to where there's something that bed liner can grab onto. But the entire bed is cleaned out. So now let's go ahead and get the bed liner ready. Okay, now inside the Raptor liner box, we have contents I'm sure there's probably instructions in here the bed liner itself then we have a hardener another hardener and another thing of bed liner then it comes with the roller some gloves I think this is the non-slip additive it comes with you can mix this into the bed liner to give it more texture Comes with some abrasive pads, so if you don't have a wire wheel or sandpaper, you can use this to stuff the bed up. Some more non-slip additive. And two trays to put your bed liner in. With two rollers. So you're gonna do two coats. And do the first coat, wait 60 minutes, and then do the second coat. Okay, so instead of using this right away it says that it works best when it's applied in the final coat so i think i'm going to put both bags in the final one first we'll just do the bed liner and hardener what it says to do is pour the entire contents of one of the hardener tins into the bed liner tin recap and shake well for two minutes
Okay, now, you, now it just says to put the cap back on and shake for two minutes. And after you're done shaking, we'll pour it into here and get started. To start this off, I'm gonna work the same way I sanded. I'm gonna go from the side of the bed, I'm gonna go all the way around. And once I get back to this side, I'm gonna go up and work from the center back. That way I don't have to worry about where I'm stepping or where I'm crawling or anything. I apologize if you guys can't hear me very well. It is very windy out here, but I'm gonna go all the way around then back to front and then do the tailgate and you have to let it sit for 60 minutes and it's about three o'clock right now so once i finish this i'll reapply the second coat at four o'clock go ahead and get into it guys update everybody first coat is done and as you can see the sun is starting to go down that's because it took me a little over an hour just to apply one coat and i must say i don't know how you how you can tell uh in the video they do not give you enough to do a whole coat i literally had to take the cap off the bottle and smash it onto the tailgate to get the last couple drops out just so i could have enough just to get majority of the tailgate covered. As you can see, there's still some spots that are bare. So uh, next go around, I'm just gonna lightly touch up any areas on the side. I'm gonna do the back and then I'm gonna do the bed and the tailgate. Because the tailgate, bed and back are what I'm mainly concerned about and the wheel wells. Those are what's gonna get hit most often. Uh, and guys, I don't, I don't use my truck to like haul rocks or anything. Like I'm just doing this so it's not just a scratch up bed that looks like crap. Um, I'm not too worried about ever having to haul much of anything and the bed liner getting torn up. I just want it to look nice. So now I have to wait uh, until this dries. It's not very thick, so I don't even think it's going to be a 60 minute wait. I'll probably come back out in about 30 minutes and I'm going to touch up the sides, the back, the bed and tailgate. And hopefully I'll have enough just to do that because I mean, I barely, barely got this tailgate done. Like there's a lot of bare spots. And on Amazon when I ordered this, and I'll put the link to this down in the description below, it said that you'd have enough to do a whole eight foot bed. So I'm thinking I have a six and a half foot bed. I'll have plenty. Um, I don't know if they're just talking about just doing the bed or if they're talking about doing the sides and back and tailgate. Because if they're talking about doing all that, then they are wrong. Because I mean, I, I didn't like put super thick coats or anything on, so it, it shouldn't take this long. I mean, I know this side right here is already dry because it's been an hour since I was over there. <sighs> I'm just frustrated, guys. So uh, I'm not gonna bore you when I touch everything up. I'll show you the end result if it's not dark. Uh, this video is gonna be live on a Sunday, probably when you guys are watching this. Right now I'm recording this on Monday. It's Martin Luther King Day. And I'm not gonna bore you with anything, but if it's dark out when I finish, it'll have to be a next day that I record the clip for it. So, uh, I'll update you guys if anything changes. Okay, so after reading some reviews online about this Raptor liner kit, um, I'm not the only one that dealt with not having enough. Two, the rollers are complete crap. Uh, they completely come apart while you're rolling it. I actually took mine and pulled the ends of it off while I was rolling because it just kept like flapping around and it would cause like streaks and everything that would not match, yeah, max, that would not match the rest of the texture. So I ended up ripping it off like halfway through and just used a shorter roller. And apparently I'm not the only one that had problems with that. Other people have complained that there wasn't enough, the rollers are crap, that within a couple months it was chipping off and things like that. Now, I mean, it all depends on how well you prepped it and everything, so mine shouldn't chip off. Uh, I read the reviews on it before I bought it, and majority of the reviews that I saw were five and four star. Now that I was looking at the uh, like worst reviews, I'm relating to it. So if you guys wanna use the Raptor liner kit, uh, Ryan Mayer has a video on him doing the spray-in bed liner. 
And honestly, I kind of wish I would just went and spent $150 and bought an air compressor and did the spray-in kit. It probably would have turned out a lot better. Uh, spray-in covers more because you're spraying it. You're not trying to roll it and get that roller into fine areas. I'm still waiting for this tailgate to completely harden. Of course, it's 50 degrees outside in Florida right now, which it's never, it was 80 yesterday. So of course it's 50 right now and it's taking this paint, a little, yeah, paint this bed liner a little bit longer to cure. So I'm waiting until I can do the second coat. The second coat, I'm putting all the sand and everything in to do the texture. Um, I'm not gonna focus too much on the sides, like I said, but I want the texture to be on the floor and the tailgate and the wheel wells. That's anywhere where I might be standing or having anything that I don't want to slide. Like I said, I'm mainly, I'm mainly worried about this for looks. I'm not too worried about it to actually hold up to like hauling gravel or equipment or anything like that. The most that's ever gonna go back here are some beach chairs and maybe a canopy and a cooler. And the canopy is about the only thing I could see scratching this. So this we will see tomorrow or whenever I can film this for you guys how it turns out so thank you all for watching and i'll pick you guys up another day all right everybody the bed liner is finished i know you guys i'm in the same outfit you just saw on wednesday's video i'm recording this right after bed liner is completely finished i don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear this but you hear that and then this is normal paint it looks phenomenal it looks so great guys so i ended up having plenty for the second coat the first coat i did the sides and the back and i got majority of the bed pretty thick but i wasn't able to get very thick on the tailgate like i told you guys so the second coat i mainly just wanted to get the bed thicker the back tailgate and the wheel wells so i went around and i just lightly went over the sides so they would have the texture i went over the back nicely the rail up there went over I went over this side right here nicely and then I went over the wheel wells really well and I did the bed really well completely covered it and then I came into the tailgate and I wanted the tailgate to have the most texture and I wanted it to be the thickest because that is where you're going to put most stuff that is going to scratch any part of this up is the tailgate when you're loading things and you're trying to get it in the bed of the truck that is where you're going to scratch it the most so I wanted the tailgate the thickest so I put a lot here and I was like okay I still have plenty left over so I went back over the wheel wells and I went back over the sides of the bed and I touched up any spots in the center of the bed that I thought looked thin. And guys, I have to say it looks great. The roller and going down and this crease right here and trying to get it covered. I couldn't get too much right there as you guys can see. It's the same way on both sides. I didn't have to do this, but I figured why not? I got this back side of the tailgate. I know I didn't prep down here. So there's some rust as you guys can see. I wasn't planning on doing that. I had a little bit extra, so I figured why not? But I mean, all the lines are crisp. If you're wondering why I didn't do the whole tailgate when I'm wrapping the truck, I want the wrap to come over so there's not just a line on this edge. But I know I said that I didn't have enough with the first coat, like I didn't get the tailgate completely covered. The second coat, if you just go around and touch up the areas that you got good on the first coat, just to give it some texture, and then go over the areas where you want it thicker, I definitely suggest it. Um, if you want the whole bed to be super thick and you want more than two coats, I definitely suggest buying two of the kits of the Raptor liner. It's like $60 a kit guys, 120 bucks and you can do a whole entire bed and do multiple coats. Like still, that's not bad at all. I was talking to my boss today at work cause he's talking about wanting to get his bed, uh, bed liner done. And he got a quote from Line X, $800 to do his truck from Line X. I paid $60 and did it myself with roll on. But I mean, if you wanted it thicker and thick like Linex can be, buy two of them, 120 bucks and you do it yourself and have two coat or the three, four coats on there. I definitely think that's worth it. So thank you guys for watching the video. I'm sorry, this was a longer video. I know this video is probably 20 plus minutes long. It, it might be, I haven't edited it yet. So I don't know how long it's gonna be, but I know it's a longer video. So if you guys have made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Please go down, and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, guys. We're growing and we're growing fast. If you guys want to follow this build some more, hit the subscribe button. If you're not already, hit the subscribe button. All right, catch you on the next one. See ya.